In Ephesians 4, we get to a bit of a confusing passage in 4, 8 through 10. Here, Paul seems to get on a bit of a tangent. In the verses before, he was talking about how followers of Jesus are called to walk in unity with one another. From there, he's looking to make the point that God gives gifts to his people in order to strengthen and build one another up. He references Psalm 68 to show that God is a good king who gives gifts to his people. But as he references this psalm, it talks about God's ascension. This reminds Paul of another point that he feels like he should quickly address. So let's read verses 8 to 10, and then we'll talk about three possible ways that people interpret it. Therefore, it says, when he ascended on high, he led a host of captives, and he gave gifts to men. In saying he ascended, what does it mean but that he had also descended into the lower regions of the earth? He who descended is the same one who ascended far above all the heavens that he might fill all things. When Paul says that he ascended, pretty much everyone agrees that this is referring to Christ's ascension after his resurrection. But what does it mean when he says that he also descended into the lower regions of the earth? One way that people interpret that says that this is talking about where Jesus went when he died on the cross. This interpretation says that when he died on the cross, he descended into hell, which is what is meant by the lower regions of the earth. After that, he not only rose from the dead, but in victory ascended again into heaven. Another way that people interpret this is that the descent is talking about the Holy Spirit coming down at Pentecost and giving gifts to his people. This view says that Paul is not saying that God first descended and then ascended, but it is saying that God both ascended into heaven in Jesus and then afterward descended in the Holy Spirit to give spiritual gifts to his people. The third way that people interpret this is that he is taking a little moment to clarify something about the incarnation of Jesus. At this time, there was a growing false teaching called Gnosticism. One of the things that Gnostics believed was that everything in the physical world is evil. On the other side, you have God, who is perfect. Because he is perfect, they believe that he is unable to inhabit or have anything to do with this physical world. They believe that there was an unbridgeable gap between the two. They taught that there was as many as seven different levels of angels that acted as a sort of middleman between God and humans. This third view says that Paul is taking a moment to address this small but growing false teaching. He's clarifying that when Psalm 68 says that God ascended, it implies that he also descended right to the depths of the earth where us wicked humans lived. This is the same God who is in heaven also came down here to our level. Whatever way we interpret this, one thing is clear. We have a God who is not some far off distant God. We have a God who would come down where we are and experience the hardships that we experience. He ascended back into heaven, not to leave us, but so that he could dwell inside of us and empower us to be who he has called us to be and to do what he has called us to do.